Welcome to Sitka! And we're coming to pick up at the cruise ship. There it is. This is the Celebrity Millennium. And we're heading out. All right, guys, here's a quick video of the different types of salmon. Check out the size of this link cod. It is a mammoth. <laughs> And this is Spirit, who's only three years old. Yeah. What do you want? Hey. Those two are fighting. Hello everybody, Captain Cody here from GlobalFishingReports.com. We are in Sitka, Alaska. I have lived here for the past four months, so I've been to a lot of the really cool places. In this video, we're gonna go over what is the best things to do in Sitka? Where are the best places to eat? What are the cool places to see? We got Fortress of the Bears, good place to see bears, the Raptor Center, places to see eagles. We got good fishing spots, good hiking spots. So I'm gonna go through all that with you guys right now. All right, so this is Fortress of the Bears in Sitka, Alaska. Pretty view. And this board shows some of the bears they have here. They rehabilitate bears or rescue bears. What do you want? Hey! This is a one and a half year old grizzly bear. The Alaska Raptor Center. Rehabilitation, education, and research. Caring for birds of prey since 1980. All right, so we're at the Raptor Center, and this is Volta, who is at least 33 years old. And this is Spirit, who's only three years old. Whenever they turn five, they're full grown. little camel shack. This eagle is actually a famous eagle. It's been on the Wall Street Stock Exchange. Been to most of the states and now lives full-time in Sitka. This is Pele, the peregrine falcon. These falcons can actually fly at 242 miles per hour. Not to be confused by their sign which says 238 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> this is a great gray owl. It's pretty cool. Back in the early 90s, there was only 500 breeding pairs of bald eagles left worldwide. They were endangered. Today, there are over 100,000 bald eagles which is pretty remarkable. It's camera shot. Thanks. It's delicious looking actually. Not a big fan, huh? I don't know. Maybe it's just the way they are. I don't know. All right, we just got to Indian Creek. And look how many salmon are in here. Let's talk about things to do in Sitka, Alaska. You can go fishing, you can go fishing, or you can go fishing. And we're coming to pick up at the cruise ship. There it is. This is the Celebrity Millennium. I'm guessing it was built around 2000. Cruise later on. All right, we're heading out. Goodness. That 
good day. I built them, yeah. All right, so this is Bird Island, and all the mere birds live back in that cave. There goes the bald eagle. And these mirror birds come in and out of here all day. They lay their eggs up on those ledges and they actually have unique shaped eggs so they don't roll off. They're teardrop shaped. And this whole island is actually volcanic. You can actually see the lava lines. And then right over there is Mount Edgecombe. So Mount Edgecombe is an inactive volcano. It went off 10,000 years ago. But the cool story is, back in the 80s, some guy hiked a tire up there every day for three months. And on April 1st, April Fool's Day, he lit them all on fire to make people think the volcano was going off. And it actually went down as the third best prank of all time by Guinness Book of World Records. This is when you want to have a cabin. Stay nice and dry. We're heading right into these bigger waves. You got a shark. These are what you get sometimes when you're salmon fishing. Blue shark. Right at the surface. Try and bring him close to me if you can. Three of us has had him hooked. He's got a couple of hooks at him. <laughs> Like oh yeah. Is that the way his eyes supposed to look? Well no, they roll their eyes in the back of their head so they don't get poked. Alright, so we just lost the shark and we got a mess of a boat. Bunch of salmon. <laughs> salmon in here. And we're getting ready to halibut fish. We just did the video on the difference between a chum salmon and a silver salmon. And then we had this big silver salmon on and it got hit by a shark. Those are all his teeth marks. All right, we're out here halibut fishing. And this is our bait. Octopus, herring, and pollock. Yep. 43, 44. Yep. You wanna grab a quick picture with it? Yeah. And we're really on a halibut. It's not huge, but. This will be a good solid. Yeah, that's good. Check on the size of this link cod. It is a mammoth. We'll see how big it is. All right, guys, we're out here with Troop 10 from Michigan, and we caught a bunch of fish. Five yellow eyes, six halibut. All right, guys, here's a quick video of the different types of salmon. This one up top's the king. You can tell it's got black gums. Dots on the tail. This other one's a silver. This one's a chum. You can mostly tell because it's got the big eye. And this one here is a pink or a humpy. Here's three commercial trollers, and they're at Seafood Producers Co-op, and they're unloading all their salmon. There's a big fuel ship, Petro Mariner, double haul. That's how we get all of our gas in Sitka. All right, we're in downtown Sitka. This is where the cruise ship usually drops people off. Directly in front of us, we have the Bayview Pub. And then most of town is just a strip that goes down that way. We have Centennial Hall, which is straight in front of us. We have the local library over there. And on this side, we have Crescent Harbor. Let's talk places to eat. This is the Bayview Pub. This is probably the closest and easiest place to eat. Let's go check it out.
best thing to get at the Bayview Pub? A Philly cheesesteak. Let's roll. All right, so this is Main Street here, and there's a good restaurant right over here. This is Petro Marine. That's the gas station where we fill up every day. But this house right here, or what looks like a house, is actually Beak Restaurant. That's the best place to get locally caught seafood. Right there. And then right across the street, that brown building, that's the Totem Square Inn. On the end of that hotel there, there's another restaurant called Mean Queen 2, which is just a good place to get burgers. And you're actually sitting out in patio seating. So let's go check that out. All right, so we're at the Mean Queen in Totem Square. You can see you're out here patio seating, overlooking the harbor here. It's a really pretty place to eat. Also right here, you can come and get a selfie with this fake halibut. This is the Main Queen. The upstairs is a restaurant, great place to get pizza. Down below it's a bar. Anytime you're in Alaska, it's Russian dumplings. They're cheap. Most of them are called Pels. They'll cook them up right in front of you. And they're a good deal. All right, here's Ernie's Saloon. I'll just walk through. All right, so we're right downtown, and this is the Westmark Hotel. It's a restaurant and it's a hotel. The cool thing about this place is they'll actually do cook your own catch. It's $25, they give you potatoes, rice, veggies. It'll be the best food you ever had, along with the fish, as long as you got some fresh salmon, halibut, or rockfish. Definitely bring it here, have them cook it up for you. If you fish in the morning, most likely you'll have time in the afternoon to have them cook up your catch. Highly recommend it. Right now we're outside Crescent Harbor. This is actually where I pick up people to go fishing. We got Japonski Island straight ahead. Mount Edgecombe, the big volcano in the back. So the movie called The Proposal was actually based on a city just like this where there was houses out in front of a town which people lived in. You can see a big yacht over there. There's a lighthouse over there. I'm not actually sure if the movie The Proposal was filmed here or not, but it was at least based off of this concept. We have Totem Park straight ahead, and this is our hatchery. Check out this monster fish I caught. It's a sink away in. Actually, we're at, at the playground. Right next to the playground, we have our hatchery. So this is a hatchery for the pink salmon. You can see them all trying to get up there. There's thousands and thousands of them. They finally have the net open where they let them in. Oh, dang it. We got hoops. All right, this is the famous Crescent Harbor. I pick up most of my fishing guests right here at the boat ramp. We got a lot of commercial vessels, vessels here, saners and trollers. If you're in Sitka and you have not booked an excursion, the coach buses that drop you off from the ship drop you off right here in downtown Sitka. This is right next to Crescent Harbor and you can check out Sitka Zodiac Adventures. They actually let you drive your own Zodiac for an excursion. It's a guided excursion, so you're following somebody, but you get to drive your own boat. It's a really fun excursion. If you do go on the Zodiac tour that I was telling you about, they like to do walk-ups, so you don't actually have to book an excursion ahead of time. You can if you want to, look them up online. But these are the boats you get to drive. They're brand new this year. They have brand new Yamaha motors, and you get to go out. I think they like to put four people per boat, and you get to see all the cool wildlife here in Sitka. You can rent a bike at the Yellow Jersey Cycle Shop. 
$25 for two hours. There are some fancy shops. You can buy glass salmon, octopus. We got a fur gallery. This is a lynx. Behold the Duke. Here's a mink jacket. I can guarantee you it's over $10,000. Most of them are 10 to 30,000. This is downtown Sitka. That's the Westmark Hotel. Here's our movie theater, Coliseum Theater. It's a one screen movie theater. Right now you can watch Angry Birds or Meters Down Uncaged. Oh, 47 meters down, uncaged. That actually sounds like a good one. If you're ever in Sitka, check out this store. It's the Alaskan Sea Salt Company. It was actually started up by a charter boat captain here. And it's a really cool place. A bunch of different flavors of sea salt. You guys look like you're shooting a fancier movie than I am. Well, I don't know, man. I... This is the Alaska Gift Bazaar. It's closed but that's where I bought my jacket. This is a cool gift shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool caribou. This is St. Michael's Cathedral. Old Russian church. Right in the heart of downtown. St. Michael's Cathedral gift shop. Russian Orthodox Church. Pretty cool. All right, I'm on top of the O'Connell Bridge and you can see this is a great spot. You can actually just walk right up to this bridge here. Oh, we got a plane taking off. Here's a 737 taking off of Japonski Island. We get about three flights a day from either Seattle to Sitka or Juneau to Sitka. In the summertime, in the wintertime, it's obviously going to be less flights. Another fun fact about Sitka is Sitka is actually the biggest city in the United States. People always look at me funny whenever I say that, but per square area, Sitka is over 7,000 square miles. All of Baranoff Island is considered within city limits. So we have 7,000 square miles with only 8,000 people. We only have about 12 miles of road. So we actually don't have access to all of that by road. You have to get in a boat and drive. And if you do that, you'll be hiking on areas that no one has ever hiked before, almost for sure. We got a big Saner boat there coming to fuel up. And we also have these sport fishing boats going by. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day to have off. This is unusual. There's a big yacht called the Ice Bear. Now I'm stuck in traffic on the bridge. So we're down here at Sawmill Creek. And this is our hydroelectric power plant. There's lots of salmon down there. Lots of chums and kings. And this is where we get all of the power for Sitka. So if you drive all the way down to the end of Sawmill Creek, it turns to a gravel road, which this gravel road goes for about a mile. And it'll go to a couple hiking trails down here that we'll go check out. That's Bear Mountain right there. It's a really cool mountain to climb. You can see some people just pull off. So this is the very end of Sawmill Creek Road. You can park right here to hike. But as you come to the very end, no parking. It says Green Lake Hydroelectric Project, city and borough of Sitka. This road does actually go for another two miles out to a hatchery and there's some hiking trails down there and there's a couple lakes you can go to but they close this road off because they don't want to have to monitor it 
This is also at the end of Sawmill Creek. Got a couple people fishing down here. Nice overlook. Some people come down here and have fires. Looks like somebody burned their mattress right there. And left it down here. You guys had any luck? Cool. They're all over the place. <laughs> you get them on a fly? No. So at the end of Sawmill Creek, this is what you got. This is the Herring Cove Trailhead. Goes to Bear Mountain Waterfall, Beaver Lake, Sawmill Creek Campground, Thimbleberry Trailhead at Sawmill Creek Road, and Loop Hike via Thimbleberry. All right, guys. This is Blue Lake. It's very pretty here. All right, so this is Blue Lake. This is where we get our water from. And I think that we actually get some of our power from this lake too. We pipe it down. There goes an eagle. We also have Whale Park, where we got some of the gazebos overlooking the water. And there's a little hiking trail down that you can go to. This is where all the supplies come into Sitka, Alaska Marine Lines, towards the end of the road here. There's another little harbor there. All right, this is an example of one of the campsites at the Star Gavin Campground. It's between $12 and $14 a night. You can tent it, or you can bring an RV. And once you're here, you got a nice picnic table and a fire pit. There's 26 campsites on this side of the road and there's about another 20 on the other. So there's about 50 campsites and I kind of doubt that they're ever all the way filled up even in prime season. This is interesting, this is something I didn't realize but there's actually a $75 cabin here. Call this number to reserve it. It ends in triple seven so it's got to be a lucky cabin. Looks like they got a fire going at it right now. Cool. They lock their car. I think I'm gonna rob them. Here's a map of the Star Gavin recreation area. And here's a trail you can go on. It looks like they have a notice. Brown Bear seen in Creek. Sounds exciting. There's also a backpacker loop. Campsites for hikers. This is the hiking campsites 27 through 32. Sitka does have a ferry terminal, there it is. If you read the signs, exercise caution because there's falling snow. They might want to make those removable. All right, we're gonna go up Harbor Mountain. You can actually drive up most of the way. There's actually a Harbor Mountain Road, but that's not how you get to Harbor Mountain. You actually go on Kramer Ave. Harbor Mountain was called Harbor Mountain because it was one of the first mountains you could see as you were rounding the corner of Cape Edgecombe. So you knew that's where your harbor was. We're getting up there. Beats walking. Still going up. So good. Come on, 
baby make it hurt so good Sometimes love don't feel like it should You make it hurt so good My arm's acting like a gimbal Gimbal stabilized This is way better than walking This is the view from the top of Harbor Mountain. So you guys are probably wondering how I got to the top of this mountain. I was climbing like this. Oh yeah, climbing, climbing. Whew. Yeah, got to the top, woo! <laughs> Actually, I just drove my car up here. <laughs> but it's got a pretty good view. There's an airplane taking off down on Japonski Island. There's the town of Sitka. You can see all four harbors. Pretty view from up here. If you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. If you click the notification bell, you'll get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck fishing.